Hello, I'm Kay. Next tutorial. This time I'm dressed up as the magic mirror from the Disney movie Snow White. It's probably one of my most favourite Disney movies, it's probably one of the most enchanting I think. It's just a really wonderful classic movie. It's just really a super super simple face paint, I mean obviously more complicated by blocking out your eyebrows and popping on a ball cap, but as I say in the video you don't have to do that, it's just if you want this particular effect, like the whole seamless design of blocking out your ears and stuff. So it's completely up to you guys. So yeah, if you'd like to learn how to recreate this makeup, stay tuned. So the first two steps are completely optional. I'm going to be blocking out my eyebrows and popping on a bald cap. I say optional because you could paint over your eyebrows if you do them low enough and the bald cap you could substitute with say a hoodie costume. But for the purpose of this video I just want things to be really seamless and I don't want to have any ears showing or anything like that. So I'm going to be doing that. So if you want to do that I'll pop links here and here to the two videos that I did in the past to teach you guys how to block your eyebrows out and how to apply a bald cap just so I don't have to show you in this video as always to make things go a little bit quicker. So yeah, I'm gonna block out my eyebrows, pop on a ball cap, and we should go from there. Okay, so after I applied my ball cap and blocked out my eyebrows, I went over the edge of my ball cap as always with about four to five layers of liquid latex just to really get rid of the edge. Then I'm gonna take a regular eyeliner or a lip liner pencil, pretty much the same thing. This one's a Cole Pencil by Collection 2000, just something that can be easily wiped away if I make a mistake, because just really just for guidelines. And I'm just gonna roughly trace the shape on that I want for the mouth. Okay, so just a really rough shape, but you know exactly where the colours are going to divide. So then we'll do exactly the same again for the eye shape. So just super, super rough. I just need to know exactly where I need to stop the colour so I can add it light afterwards. Because it's easier to add darker over light than it is light over dark, because these are going to be quite light areas, if that makes sense. Yeah. Then I'm going to take a Wolf Hydro colour, this is in number 57, and I'm going to apply that just on the inside lip and on the outside of my face here, except I'm going to stop it by about there, and it's not going to go on my ball cap. Then I'm going to take a MAC Chroma Cake watercolour, this is in rich purple, and I'm going to start by tracing on the shape I want for the outside edge on top, which is going to be the mask shape. So it's going to be low point here and high point here, but I'm only going to paint the top half, because the idea is it's going to be a gradient of colours going from purple to blue to green to yellow. Don't worry about that being neat either, because this whole outside edge is going to be painted black, so I can neaten up the lines afterwards. Then I'm going to take another matte chroma cake colour, this one's in marine ultra, so a dark blue. I'm going to have that go the second half, but I'm going to have it dip down even further. So it's easy for me just to show you where it's going to go. Then the next colour is going to be another matte chroma cake colour, this is in high def cyan. It needs to be quite bright because the eyebrows are going to be covered over the top of this, and if it's as dark as this blue you won't see them. So I'm going to apply that colour all in the middle area here, obviously not going onto my eyelids. Then, taking the purple again, I'm going to go underneath my eyes and around the blue, covering a bit most of my nose except for the end, and around the other eye, blending back upwards. Then, as messy as it looks now, don't worry, that's going to take a new brush now, quite fluffy. I'm going to make it not wet, but just a tiny bit damp. And the idea is to use a different brush in between each layer, but I'm going to start buffing each colour into the next colour, so it all gradients and all blends into each other, just so there's no direct harsh edge. It needs to be really blended out, so there's no direct line. Then I'm going to take a primary yellow matte chroma cake watercolour and I'm just going to dab that in the middle of this green area here and just blend that out so that can be the highlight of the cheeks. Then taking a sharp angle brush and some black chroma cake, I'm going to apply that to the edge of this mouthpiece on the inside and outside and just taper the colour outwards just to make a dark gradient fading into the yellow and green. Then before I do anything else, I just really want to get this shape done, so I'm going to take the black chroma cat watercolour and I'm going to apply it around the edge and start shaping the mask shape, so a lot of this is going to be cut off. Then, whilst that's drying, I'm going to take the yellow watercolour and I'm going to colour in this whole mouth area, not including the lips. And 
also going to apply the yellow on the tip of my nose. Then using the same yellow, I'm going to paint the inside area of my eyes. Whoops, scratch that. I just stopped doing it because I realised I've got to do my eyelids first. Silly me. So I'm going to take the purple colour and I'm just going to do a really, really sharp cut crease just over my eyelids. Then I can go in and colour my eyelids and on top with the yellow. Then afterwards I'll be blending the purple downwards into that yellow. Then, as I said, I'm going to blend that purple downwards. Then I'm going to take the Marine Ultra Blue and I'm going to start drawing on some really big, thick, angry eyebrows. Then again, I'm going to take the purple watercolour and I'm going to colour in the lip shape. Then taking a Makeup Forever Aqua Cream in black and I'm going to line both top and bottom waterlines of my eyes. Then taking the Marine Ultra Blue again and I'm going to add some furrow lines just about here just to make it look more angry. Then I can take the High Def Cyan and just highlight that. So I'm going to go above and below it and then blend that colour outwards. Okay, so nothing major, just a few wrinkles, like I've done three going up the forehead and then the furrows here. I'm just going to make this part here the darkest part, just where it needs to be the most deep set. Then taking a tiny bit of the black watercolour, I'm just going to colour in the very centre of the lips, just blending out ever so slightly, just so it looks like the mouth's a little bit open. Then I'm going to colour the rest of my neck, shoulders, chest in black. Then I just need to pop in my contact lenses and I think I'm done. And there we go, that's the look complete. So I've finished the look off by popping in two black Scalera lenses, which you can find at scalerxl.com. I'll pop that link in the description bar below. And that's it. So I would suggest popping on like a black cloak or something like similar, like a black morph suit maybe from the neck downwards, just so obviously you don't have to go out naked. But for the purpose of this video and just to make it like extra seamless, it's just better for me to paint my top for now. So yeah, that's my Magic Mirror tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like it, please make sure to, you know, the usual rate, comment, subscribe. And if you could please share this video, that would really, really, really help me out. And yeah, so until next time. Bye guys.